Hi, it's Katrina. From mysterious disappearances to the discovery of Noah's Ark, here are 10 of the most fascinating unsolved mysteries. Number 10. Disappearance of Friedrich Valentich Fred Valentich was a young Australian pilot who was aiming to fly across the Bass Strait, a stretch of sea between the Aussie coast and the island state of Tasmania in 1978. Over the course of five minutes, he described being followed at a distance of 4,500 feet by some sort of strange aircraft made of metal. It had four bright lights plus one green light on the exterior. Valentich tried to communicate again, and right after he said he was having engine trouble, the signal ended abruptly with a scraping sound. That was the last anyone saw or heard from Fred Valentich. So what happened to him? Did he crash? Or did the strange aircraft take him down? Was he taken by the occupants of the strange craft? While some question his competency as a pilot, as well as his interest in UFOs, others highlight the fact there were other sightings of the lice he described. One unidentified farmer even said he spotted Valentich's plane, which was attached to what he thought was a 30-foot-long aircraft, implying that the other craft had somehow kidnapped him or something. Others think Fred's senses were fooled by what's called a tilted horizon, and that he actually saw a series of planets instead of lights. In this case, there are more questions than answers, and only the pilot himself knows what really happened. Number 9. The Red Rain of Kerala if blood suddenly started raining down from the sky, you might think you'd walked into a horror movie. Well, if you live in the Indian state of Kerala, that kind of thing happens a lot. But don't worry, it's not actually blood. Not blood as such, but red-colored rain that has become the subject of much speculation since it was first officially noticed in 2001. Localized, short periods of this red rain fell for a couple of months. The rain followed after a mysterious flashing light in the sky and a noise like a sonic boom. It's also been mentioned a century or so back in 1896 and most recently in 2012, though it has been a fairly regular thing over the years. As for what causes the strange red tinge, the only thing scientists do know is that the rain carries red particles, or to be more precise, spores. These spores don't have any recognizable DNA, leading some to think they're evidence of alien life. Apart from that, it's all a bit of a mystery, with no theory gaining enough traction to be widely believed. So for now, the people of Kerala will have to put up with red stains on their clothes. Pretty inconvenient, but then nature never did respect the wash cycle. Number 8. Genie Safin Combustion Doctors know a lot about how the human body works, but there are still many things that happen which are an outright mystery. One of those is spontaneous human combustion a dramatic phenomenon where allegedly people can just catch on fire without warning. This fate befell English pensioner Jeannie Safin, who was sitting in her kitchen when the combustion happened. Thankfully, her father was with her and he and his son-in-law managed to put her out. Tragically, a lot of damage had already been done, with disfiguring burns, some of which went right through to the fat tissue. Jeannie passed away from pneumonia later on, and there was something strange about the way she behaved during the whole ordeal. While she was burning, she didn't react much, behavior that's been supposedly observed in other cases. This is put down to shock, but also a lack of awareness that seems to suggest that you are either asleep or unconscious when this happens. Pretty weird, right? What actually causes this dramatic reaction is not yet known. Some people even think that this doesn't even really happen, it's just urban legend. Some put it down to a buildup of hydrogen in the cells combined with faulty mitochondria, our cell energy producers. There's still so much we don't know about human biology, who knows what's going on at that micro level. But always remember, try to stay calm or you may just spontaneously combust. And now for number seven. But first, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell before you go. Number seven, man in the iron mask. Oh yes, he's back. You remember him from the movie with DiCaprio. Well, if you thought that it was just a story, prepare to be surprised because the image of a poor guy locked up with a mask stuck on him was taken from real historical events. The top priority prisoner was held in the Parisian fortress known as the Bastille between 1669 and 1703. Who was he? Good question. No one really knows yet. Guess that's why they put him in a mask, right? 
Writers such as Alexander Dumas imagined the man in the iron mask to be Louis XIV's twin brother, though historians think they've got a decent idea as to the man's true identity. They believe him to be a treasurer's valet named Eustache Dauger who got mixed up in high-level corruption and whose face had to be obscured otherwise he'd have been murdered. It was actually for his own protection. It's also thought he really wore a velvet mask and that he didn't have to keep it on all the time. The man in the velvet mask doesn't sound as dramatic or as interesting as a guy in an iron one. Having said that, it makes a lot more sense to use velvet. It's much more comfortable and you don't rust. I choose velvet over iron on my face any day. Number 6. Sonic Attacks We seem to live in an increasingly unstable world, and this was underlined late last year when some weird attacks took place against American diplomats in Cuba. People complained of having hearing problems, dizziness, and disorientation, among other symptoms, at the U.S. Embassy in Havana. Time magazine reported that the problem appears to have been caused by sonic attacks, using sound waves outside the human hearing spectrum. These are sent using a sonic device of some kind. Scary stuff! The situation ended with 60% of diplomatic staff being pulled out of the country. Americans have also been advised not to travel to Cuba because of these sonic attacks, so things are getting pretty nasty. Number 5. Vile Vortices Areas like the Bermuda Triangle are famous as locations where boats and planes mysteriously vanish, never to be seen again. However, this isn't the only place where bizarre disappearances take place. There's also the South Atlantic Anomaly and the Dragon's Triangle. What is it about weird stuff and triangles? Question for another time, perhaps. Scottish biologist Ivan T. Anderson was interested in these subjects and founded the Society for the Investigation of the Unexplained. In the late 60s, he began putting together a theory linking 12 areas that became known as the Vile Vortices. This was based on the idea of a planetary grid system containing geometric shapes, a concept first talked about back in the days of Plato. Anderson wanted to link the vortices to try and get to the bottom of the disappearances. His theory was extended by Russian scientists in the early 70s who looked at the geometric network as a means of channeling ancient energy. The vile vortices sounds like the title of a cheesy old movie, so it's difficult to know how seriously to take this mysterious idea. It's certainly a fascinating one though, and may explain what's been going on inside all of these triangles over the years. Number 4. Who was Caspar Hauser? Caspar Hauser was a teenager found wandering around Nuremberg, Germany in 1828. He was about 16 years old and seemed muddled and confused, and he barely knew how to speak. This kid became known as the Wild Child of Europe, and he became extremely famous. When he was found, he was clutching two letters, one supposedly from a laborer who had been taking care of him but could no longer afford it. Oddly, the letter requested the boy be educated, but at the same time be confined. The other from his mother, who said his father was in the cavalry and she wanted him to join the military. The only thing he could really say was his name, Caspar Hauser. He was taken to a police station and it was discovered he had very little vocabulary and only liked to eat bread and water with his hands. He was put in the care of a jailer who reported he liked to play with toys, then he was educated and wrote his autobiography. Word of him spread and hundreds of books, articles, plays, and even films were written about him. There was a conspiracy theory going around that Hauser was the heir to the throne or the son of a duke, but for some reason, someone got rid of him. While he didn't grow up with wolves, the story of the boy gets even stranger. He claims he was attacked several times due to his fame, and at 21 years old, he was found dead. Whether by a real assassin or by his own hand, it is hard to say. Many people claim he was just a liar and faked everything. He could have had an undiagnosed illness or Munchausen's disease. Many historians claim his story was just that, a story, but it continues to intrigue us. Number 3. Oak Island Money Pit The Canadian landmass of Oak Island, which is found off Nova Scotia, is said to be the site of a fabled treasure believed to date back to the days of piracy. In the late 18th century, a teenager noticed lights on Oak Island, and so the next day, he and some friends went to investigate who might have been there. He stumbled upon what was described as a circular depression of Earth. The infamous pirate Captain Kidd was rumored to have hidden his ill-gotten gains in the area, and the place was known for playing host to its fair share of salty sea dogs. The teenager and his friends dug and dug, finding evidence of something being buried but never actually finding anything shiny. Other treasure hunters came and dug down even further, uncovering in the process a strange stone tablet with weird symbols on it. This was translated into a message saying two million pounds were buried 40 feet below. Intriguing stuff, 
Though this is starting to sound a little like a shaggy dog story. Surprise, surprise, the treasure wasn't found. As time went on, word spread and different people tried different approaches, such as tunneling toward the treasure from a different angle. Every party that attempts to get to the bottom of the matter, quite literally, winds up finding dirt and layers of wood. Hundreds of years later, people are still no closer to unlocking the pit's secrets. We're thinking this could be an early example of pranking. If it is, then we take our hats off to the person who spent so long setting it up. They make Ashton Kutcher look like a total amateur. Number 2. Finding Noah's Ark We all know the story of Noah's Ark, where Noah was warned that a flood was coming and built a large boat, the Ark, to save himself and his family and all the animals that went in two by two. There's also that Russell Crowe movie, but that's a little crazy. Let's focus on the traditional story, which seemed to be backed by scientific evidence in 2007 after discovery in Turkey. Many people debate whether or not Noah and his adventure were real in the first place. That's definitely the case with Noah's Ark Ministries International, a group of explorers who went to Mount Ararat to uncover the ancient Christian mystery. Approaching the top of the peak at 13,000 feet, they found a wooden structure buried under snow and volcanic remains. While it's not clear if this is a boat or not, it appears to be made up of a series of compartments. Using radiocarbon dating, the group has been able to determine the wood is nearly 5,000 years old. Other experts have rained on the explorer's parade by casting doubt on the reliability of radiocarbon dating for this type of find. Some believers say it's more likely to be a tribute to the Ark rather than the Ark itself, which is seen as more of an allegorical tale. More studies need to be done to determine if this is actually THE Ark. What do you think? Is it real? Let me know in the comments below. Number 1. The Wow Signal The Wow Signal is probably the most appropriately named radio signal from the stars in history. Astronomers working at the famous Big Ear Telescope based at Ohio State University in 1977 recorded a very strange sound from space. It was a 72-second burst of radio waves, and on the reading, the astronomer wrote WOW next to it in red pen. This has been one of the main things cited as evidence of extraterrestrials trying to communicate with us. In any case, no one had an explanation for it. It was surprising both in its intensity and the specific frequency it had. The Big Ear Project was hoping to detect evidence of alien life, and this weird signal was just what they'd been looking for. Not that it's seriously believed the origin of the WOW signal is extraterrestrial. If so, why haven't we gotten it again? There may be another answer to this mystery. A professor from St. Petersburg College has discovered that a pair of comets are responsible for the signal. He says that the WOW signal was detected at 1420 MHz, which is the radio frequency emitted by hydrogen. These comets were around the area at the time, so the source of this signal may not be such a mystery anymore. While the alien believers might be really disappointed out there, don't worry, there are lots more programs listening to outer space, specifically for intelligent life. Thanks for watching! Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!